Welcome back. So coming to the previous tasks, initially we have created this particular resource group inside which we have created uh, the web app using app service. And then in the task two, we have created uh, the staging slot. So we have uh, created uh, one staging slot. And in the task three, we have created a local gate. So because I was getting like few errors, I again created an another uh, staging slot and there we have performed the action. And uh, we have created this local gate and uh, we have uh, successfully accessed this remote uh, GitHub page from uh, to our local uh, gate and we were able to access it. So that is what uh, we have done. It. And uh, coming to the task five, we will be swapping the staging slots and in the task six, six uh, we will be doing auto scaling rule. So that is what uh, we'll be performing uh, in this lab. So if I go back, so you can see in the previous video, we were able to access uh, the GitHub page, the remote GitHub page that uh, we have used. So coming to this lab, let's go ahead and start. So initially uh, the task file, which is uh, swapping the staging slots. For that, let's click the web app and uh, let's wait for that. I don't know why it's taking time. Okay. So under the deployment, you can see the deployment uh, slots. Click that. And you can see here we have an option uh, where we can see it as a swap. So you have to click that. So before that, uh, let's go to the overview and check whether uh, the URL is working. So you can see this is the URL of the production. So if I go here and uh, paste that, Yes, we were able to successfully access this web app. So if we go back and now let's go to the deployment slots and click swap. So coming to the staging, so we'll be using the other one because uh, we have deployed this particular uh, uh, slot. Click that and target is right. Okay, production and uh, next. let's click the swap. So it's taking some time. Once it is done, the next task is we'll be using uh, configuring and testing the auto scale of uh, Azure Web App. And uh, previously you were able to see this particular web page, and uh, this will be changing to the Hello World. So it's just wait and watch. So meanwhile. Uh, let me go. So there's other tab which has been opened. So this is a previous task that uh, we have performed. So if I go back, so now coming to the production. So this is the production slot. Yes. Yep. And uh, here under settings, you can the auto scale. Yeah. You can see scale up and scale out. So basically, if we talk about auto scaling. So which we are doing right now. So basically it's a built-in feature of uh, cloud service or mobile service or virtual machine scale sets. So this is used to help the applications perform their best when uh, the demand changes. So that is the definition of uh, the auto scaling. However, you can see we have two different options here, uh, scale up and scale out. So while scale out involves adding more discrete units to the system in order to add the capacity. Whereas scale up involves building existing units by integrating the resources into them. So that is what uh, the basic difference between these two. So in this lab, we'll be going to the scale out. So which involves more adding of discrete units. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Meanwhile, let's check. Yes, it has been completed. This is the source target done. If I go, if I go here, Let's try to refresh this and you can see it has been changed to hello world. So successfully we were able to swap and uh, let's move it to the second one. Uh, I mean the sixth one, which is uh, configuring and testing of auto scaling of uh, Azure Web App. So if I go back, since I've already opened it, let's uh, where it is. Yeah, scale out. So here you can see we have two different options, which is uh, manual scale as well as custom scale. So you can also read uh, here about uh, what it is. 
So basically you can see auto scaling is a built-in feature that helps the application to perform their best uh, when demand changes. So you can choose to scale your uh, resource manually to specific uh, instance count or via custom auto scale policy and so on. So right now we'll be using uh, custom auto scale according to the docs. So if I click the custom scale, so you can see we have uh, different options. Whereas the manual one is like, it's a fixed instance count. So we just want to change that. So that's the reason uh, we have, uh, we, are, we are going to use this custom auto scale. So saying that, let's uh, go to the resource group. This is the resource group and uh, coming to the instance count, which is one. So here you can see, you can add a rule here. So click that. So let's keep it as the normal one and time aggregation, which is a maximum, change it to maximum. And uh, the metrics namespace would be app service plan standard metrics. That's right. Metrics name would be CPU percentage. Okay. And uh, the next one would be the operator would be greater than right and uh, the threshold will be 10 let's change that and the duration uh, would be one minute or should be one minute and uh, yeah however you can see the recommendation is five but uh, we'll be choosing this uh, because uh, the purpose is to trigger auto scaling as soon as possible so that is the reason we are uh, minimizing uh, the length here so next coming to the operation increase the count by and this the cooldown would be five and the instant count would be one so i think these are the pretty much options that we have and uh, so just click add okay done so we have successfully added it and coming to the instance limit so the minimum will be one even the maximum you can see there is one but let's change it to the two so click that two and the default is one and to make sure you save it so let me save that so successfully we were able to uh done it and uh, for instance if you get an error uh, related to microsoft insights you have to use the following command just in case you get this so let me show that as well the command here I just need to open the cloud shell and you have to use this particular command so this is the command so if you get any error then you have to use this else it doesn't require so saying that let's minimize this so successfully we have created it and uh, coming to the next one let's add the few commands in the cloud shell so let's checking okay it's done so let me go back. So let me add the commands here. So this particular commands uh, is used to identify the URL of the web app. So let me add that command. Yes, it's done. And uh, we have got that URL. I see. Shit. Yeah. So you can see we have uh, got the information here related to the web app that we have stored here. So yeah, let's go ahead and use the other command under the monitoring section. Uh, let's click the process explorer. Where is it? There you go. So let's wait for that. So right now uh, we can see there is only one instance. So let's run uh, that particular command. So right now we are running infinite loop here. Let's see, let's wait for some time and uh, it will be changing to two different instances. So now it's only one, let's wait.
so meanwhile uh, just try to refresh it uh, once you were able to see two different instances uh, we can close the lab and uh, we can clean up the resources so there you go we were able to increase the instances to two so this is how the auto scaling works so so we have completed this lab and the next lab like i mean now we'll be cleaning cleaning up the resources for that let me add the command so initially let me remove this so we don't require that so the number of HTTP requests to this particular site would be minimized and uh, there will be only one uh, instance. So let me add the command to delete the resources. The first one is uh, getting the, the command. So this is the resource group and the next one would be we'll be deleting the resource group. So this is the final stage and this is how we have to remove the resources. So successfully we have completed the task five which is uh, swapping the staging slots and we were able to successfully uh, move it to the production and we were able to access the site and in the task six six we were able to auto scale uh, we were able to implement the auto scale tool so yeah hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you like the video please click the like below and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video thank you